1039 Proud FM. This is your morning with Richard and Chris. It is Motivational Monday, and nobody motivates us better than Jules Leaf of Fit Organics. How Yay. are you, Mama? I'm great. How are you guys? I am all right. You left a coffee outside the door. It was weird and creepy, and I, for a moment, thought I was going to be roofied, but no, you were just being polite and not taking it into the can with you. That's Thank right. You. I was, you know, girl's room, and I just thought, I'm not going to expose, I, I, you know, anybody, I wouldn't expose my ingestible to yeah. washroom germs. Why would I expose yours? Well, it's just that I know my coffee would probably go bitter if it saw you pee. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. I would get a little sweeter. Now, speaking of bitter... Tell me the truth. You kind of like that you thought someone was creeping on you. I was all excited. Like, I was I, I was hoping it was roofied. I wanted to pass out on the air. Because, um, you know, normally I do, but it's my own fault. Uh, right. Now, speaking of passing out. <laughs> yeah, speaking of tablets, we're talking vitamins. Bitter, bitter v- vitamins. Yes. yes. Now, there's a huge, huge contention of people that feel if you eat well, you don't need vitamins. A lot of, a lot of other people feel that most vitamins, your body doesn't uh, absorb, uh, take, them. Yeah, absorb them correctly, mm-hmm. get the mm-hmm. full impact. Yeah. Uh, Lead us, Jules. Absolutely. So the deal with vitamins is that no matter what we eat in the day, it's very um, difficult unless we're, you know, eating a wide, wide profile of vegetables and fruits and and things every single day that we get everything our body needs. And, you know, when we live stressed out lives and some days our requirements are much different than other days. It's just kind of like cheap insurance to take a good multivitamin. Um, You know, no matter what we think we eat in a week, our soil is different than it was, you know, 100 years ago. Processing is different than it was. We don't all eat local. It's wintertime. We don't get sunlight like we do in the summer. So um, I think that for the most part, it's just prudent. Definitely, if you've got any um, different health concerns, you want to be taking vitamins. And in that regard, I would say that you want to go to someone, um, a nutritionist, uh, maybe a, a homeopath or a holistic, you know, nutritionist and get um, some advice on what might be right for you. Certain medications uh, make your requirements different than average. I know for a fact, uh, you know, pregnant women, that kind of thing, definitely need to be a little more careful with what their uh, vitamin profiles are going to be. Look, we don't always eat, um, you know a mouthful of fortified food every time we eat, right? No. A lot of us eat um, some not nutrient-dense food and a little bit of junk food in the day. And yeah. and that's another thing with respect to calories is every time you eat empty calories, you're losing out on an opportunity to eat um, higher nutrient food and you're losing out on an opportunity to ingest vitamins. And, you know, I find it interesting that somebody over the course of the history of the human being mm-hmm. decided, oh, we need all these things. Because let's face it, back when we were knocking two rocks together to hear a good tune. <laughs> Nobody was eating fresh true, fruit but and vegetable we, if it we, wasn't around. True, but we lived to 22 and our teeth fell out. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I yeah, mean? No, That's not a good it's, log. It's spectacular. <laughs> so, uh, well, fabulous. Absolutely. So um, after the break, we're going to talk about um, what vitamins are safe. If you're not getting that exact guidance of what mm. you need to ingest, mm. what vitamins are safe, what vitamins aren't so safe, what you want to be careful of, and what's best for just generally speaking, what should everybody do about this vitamin issue? Good, because we don't want people just running to the health food store and buying vitamins no. willy-nilly. Don't mainline your vitamin E, people. Yeah, Bad they... call. <laughs> oh, I'm so upset. 1039 Proud FM. This is your morning with Richard and Chris, and we are still here with our motivational Monday Maven, Jules Leaf of Fit Organics. We're talking vitamins and vitamins, vitamins. as my grand would say. Yeah. Vitamins. And the thing I want to know is, you know, there's things like vitamin D out there. And we're supposed to get vitamin D from the sun. And I always yeah. go, Well, where the heck are they getting this vitamin D? Are they all standing outside with bowls just catching yeah, sunlight? It's like, like, yeah, it's like those, what uh, is those, this? those uh foil covered visors circa mm-hmm. nineteen, you know, yeah. sixty two. Because I always think like, okay, so this is just BS. They're just Making no, me buy stuff it's I don't not. Need. No, doctors just can't BS. <laughs> Wait, yeah, no, doctors can't well, just BS. Well. But but they're not. They're not. So um, when it comes to vitamins, uh, there's some that are safer to take more of than others. And those are the water-soluble ones. Oh, okay. So I'm not going to list them because there are too many and it's boring. But vitamin um, C but is the, one of the water-soluble ones. Vitamin yeah. C is, exactly. You just so pee the, it out. The water, exactly. The water, the, rather, the fat-soluble vitamins, that's vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K, they're all stored in your body's own fat cells and fat reserves and cholesterol has to do with it and all that stuff. So what so you're saying is if you're ones, fat or you're healthy. 
<laughs> no, no, never said that. Never said that. But the point is we do need some fat and we do need some cholesterol in our bodies naturally in order to synthesize these um, vitamins. Now, oh. with vitamin D, everybody's very confused. So let me say this for the record. Vitamin D does not exist naturally. Ever. When oh. you eat stuff and they say, oh, it's high in vitamin D, it's either been fortified or what they mean is that it helps your body to make vitamin D. So, I again, I won't go into the oh. whole process on air. However, basically how it works with the sun is that when the sun hits your skin... Your, bo- your body uh, takes that and there's um, a chemical reaction that occurs with your, with your dermis, an epidermis. Yeah. That chemical reaction, um, uh, something transpires with your liver and your kidneys and it takes a couple of other things and it makes vitamin D with your liver and kidneys. It's still not vitamin D in the liver. It has to get to your kidneys first. So oh. if you can imagine if we're junking up our systems with not enough water or too much alcohol, these organ systems don't do their job properly enough. If we're eating allergenic foods, we're also not giving these organs the chance to work properly. And our absorption of those nutrients is going to be altered probably for the worse. So then when you're taking synthetic vitamin D. It's not like you're in the clear. It's not like oh, we're good to go. There's vitamin D. You still need other organ systems to do their job in order to absorb these nutrients. Mm. Um, vitamin A, E, and K are are um, are a different process altogether, but they're still fat soluble, and um, our, li- our body's liver uh, regulates fat and fat storage and all that stuff very well and cholesterol production, so that's why we need all that stuff working properly. Well, there you go. Right? So no more running around with a metal bowl hoping I'm getting enough vitamin D yeah. in it. It's not like catching Skittles. <laughs> oh, you're not under the then I don't want to know. Catching, then I don't want to know. vitamin D. It doesn't quite work that way. And very quickly, Jules, uh, yeah. vitamin, multivitamins, yes or no? I would say yes. A good quality multivitamin, one that I like is New Life. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can pick that up at Whole Foods Market. If you're there, you can get cookie dough as well from Fit Organics. Just kidding. Um, but <laughs> you can, you can um, definitely be rest assured that if you're taking a multivitamin that's geared to adult male, if that's your you know demographic, or adult female, or you know um, a lot of the time they have formulations for uh, menopausal women mm. and that kind of thing. I always think that it's a good idea to take the multivitamin that's geared towards you know what mm. demographic you're in. And if you have um, health issues, or if you're uh, immunosuppressed, or if you um, you know have a special consideration, you're pregnant or you want to get pregnant, there's different things that you need. So you should talk to your doctor about that. Also. Also, same goes if you're taking medication every day. Talk to your doctor about what it is, or your naturopath, about what it is you should be taking to make sure your body gets enough of what it needs. Well, there you go. You can't go wrong with that. Motivational Monday. Done. Thanks, Jules. Thanks if people want to reach you, they can go to your website, fitorganics with an X dot com. That's it. And you're on Facebook and Twitter like a whore. <laughs> Love that. Thanks, guys. Thank you.